Hello folks and welcome back to the channel and in this video we are not going to be working on Old Rusty or on the Lotus Elise or any of the other cars because I'm still waiting for parts. So rest assured we will continue with Old Rusty very soon. But right now I have to rebuild this room. Now this is the last room in the tower of this old farm and it is actually heritage so I'm not free to do whatever I want. So let me show you around what we have to do in this place. First of all, this whole building is heritage, as I stated before, so it's protected by the state. So I am not free to do whatever I want to do. Now over here, you'll find a very old floor. Now this floor dates back to 1616. It's a very old clay floor, very thin tiles, and they are placed in chalk, so not in normal cement or anything like that. And the problem is that there's a metal bar right here, which is holding the tower together from left to right. Now, this used to be a defense tower and that's why it's built so strong. But over time, the dirt, which is sitting underneath the tiles, has dried up and it has settled down. However, the metal bar didn't go down and that's why you have this effect. So the floor is cracked all along that line. And as you can see, the problem is from wall to wall along this metal bar. So I will have to fix this somehow. If this was a normal house, I really couldn't care less about this floor. I would all knock it out, pour concrete and put a new floor. However, this is heritage and I want to keep this floor as original as possible. I don't want to break it out and replace it because I'm going to break too many of those little tiles. So I'm going to keep it as is where I can and then start to repair it. You might as well notice that there is a pattern in this floor. There are black tiles and there are red tiles. You see this pattern here? And that's a reoccurring pattern on this floor. So this is going to be a little bit of work. How I'm going to fix this problem is to remove the tiles that are sitting on top of the bar and then I will place them back in. But I will actually cut them off a bit so that they come level with the actual bar. And you can see that on both sides. If I do that, it will be something like this. Now, obviously, you will see the bar, but I don't worry too much about that. The floor is not the only problem. Also, the walls have issues, and the wall in the back of me has an opening. And that opening is filled with debris, so I have to get all the debris out and fill it back up with brickwork. And that's not the only thing about the walls. And the plasterwork had better times. So we'll have to remove all the plaster from the walls because this is this kind of dry stuff with horse hair inside to make it stick and at the end they placed just a nice clean coat of uh, chalk on that. The ceiling in this room was installed in 1920 after it was destroyed during the First World War. Now the opening that you see there in the ceiling gives access to the tower attic. And on the attic, you really find a very, very old structure, a structure which used to carry a pier on top of the roof. So I'm going to expose all that. So this ceiling has to go out. But first, we need to fix the floor. So before I can actually start working on the floor, I will have to remove all this debris. And it's not a lot of fun because I have to use bags and a rope to lower down all the debris because there is no staircase yet to this room. Uh, it's all with ladders for the moment. Uh, so that's going to take a bit of time as well and I have to be very careful not to break those tiles. So I'm going to start cleaning up. So I'm going to use these special bags to put the debris in and then lower it down with a rope. Because Now I can fill up certain areas a bit more with this debris. But the rest has to go. So, let's shuffle this up and get rid of it.
So the floor is uh, as good as cleaned up. There's still a bit of debris here, but that's okay because now I'm gonna shoot pieces out of the wall uh, so I can do the new brick uh, work inside so I can actually anchor it into the old wall. Now normally I uh, mix my cement and sand separate, but this is kind of a pre-mix. I'm a bit lazy today, so... As the walls are extremely dry, I'm going to wet them up so the mortar will set better. Oh, it's been a long time ago I've done this. It's going to take a bit of time to get used to it again. So I'm going to place a little hook in the side to make it stronger. So the bricks are in and I think this looks all right. I'm just going to brush it a little bit. Because after all, uh, we will put plaster on top of that once uh, we are that far. And it's getting pretty dark outside but I'm going to bring down all these bags with garbage now because I have a whole pile of them. All right, it's time for the bags. So I think I better put my gloves on for this, because this can be uh, a bit tough. And the annoying part is that I don't have a staircase yet, so I have to lower everything down. And as I said, this is fairly high, guys. This is um, about 12 meters, so on the way down. So, you know, that is always all that easy. So let's see if we can get this done. Try. All right, that's number one. That's it for today. We got it all cleaned up. The floor is now free and tomorrow I'm going to start repairing the floor. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.